اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into how to use control variables in Smart PLS4. Let's assume I've got this model where I have two independent variables and one outcome variable organizational performance. Now I've got some demographic variables which I want to use as controls. Now in this case, I'm interested in using age, which is a metric variable. gender which is a nominal scale variable but with two categories only years of education employment permanent and contractual and let's say i'm interested in using tenure and all these variables are they are either metric variables or they are binary dichotomous variables what if you had a variable that was not metric but nominal with more than two categories now in that case you would create dummy variables and then add each category except one so let's say you've got five categories so you will have five dummy variables you will add four in the model and leave one out that will serve as a reference category now i'll make a separate video on that later but for now let's understand on this so these are my control variables select all alt x and i'm going to hide the indicators now what i'll do is i'll connect these to my dependent variable and let's see if the control variables have any effect on the model so what i'll do is let's save calculate bootstrapping the recommendation these days is 10000 bias corrected and let's if you know the direction of relationships use one tailed if not use two tailed let's use one tailed and let's start Now here are the results path coefficients Now if you look here years has a significant impact age does not have an impact well you can say gender does have an impact where we can say that the perception of organizational performance is stronger in female employees in comparison to male because there is a positive sign and here the positive sign attributes to the higher category of the categorical variable now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this into excel and paste it here and let me merge in center and call it with controls and let's go to graphical output and let me delete these now Go back. Now select them. Select, delete, delete. Now the model without controls. Now let's open the report. Path coefficients. Copy. and let's put them here this is without controls now if you look here development on op without controls it, it is 0.547 with controls it is slightly low but not that much so the controls do not affect the relationship what about vision and op 0.283 0.79 in both cases it is significant so the control variables do not affect the model that much what about the controls itself their effect on the endogenous variable well yes this is significant 
So the perception of organizational performance changes with the changing gender. The type of employment does not change the perception of performance. Years of education does change the perception of performance and age does not. So this is how you can use control variables in smart PLS 4. And when presenting the results, what you can do is you can just write after your hypothesis testing, after you have explained the explanatory power and predictive relevance, you can just add one heading control variables. And therein you can mention which of the controls were significant and which ones were insignificant. Thank you very much.